Hi Cancer, how's it going? And welcome to your October general reading. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, or if you're interested in a Cancer, welcome all. I am so grateful and glad that you're here. Cancer, if you'd like to join us for your love reading, that's where we connect with the other person you're dealing with in love, romance, or in relationships. Your love reading is always the first link in the description box below. Also, Cancer, don't forget to stick around until the end of the reading where I pick one of your names at random for the pick a card, okay? It could be you this time. I don't know. We'll have to wait to the end to see who wins the pick a card drawing this time. All right, Cancer, how are you, my loves? Again, this is your October general reading. We're doing a nine card spread today. That is past, present, and future energy. We've got one more spirit, one of the best and highest messages for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Again, for October, we are in Libra season. All right, my love, you have the Seven of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Some of y'all could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is like you are fighting for something. You believe in something, whether no one else believes in like what you do, who you love, what you're wearing, how you express yourself. This is a very... Um, like you're up on this hill, you're up on this mountain, defending something, defending yourself, protecting yourself. You're very, it's defensive energy, but you have a reason to. Uh, wands around you could be a lot of like action. I'm getting a lot of poking, like people maybe like really, really testing you, pushing your buttons. And you're just right now like back off. Yeah, I'm getting like, I'm getting, you're just like, I'm busy. I'm doing other things like catty like friends or co-worker annoying family kind of things like are like asking a lot of you and you're just like hello i'm busy like so that's what i'm getting like a hello i'm busy you've got the beautiful beautiful hierophant with the ten of cups cancer the knight of pentacles and the four of pentacles behind this energy like you have a lot of beautiful stable like family, work, responsibility. Um, you could be dealing with a Taurus for some of you, but you're like a role model, a teacher, maybe a parent um, on a stage or platform in some energetic regard. Then you've been doing that for a long time. And I just get like a lot of people are like, because you have a high status or you're responsible, it's like, help me, help me, uh, cancer, what about this? And you're like, I'm busy like I'm up here trying to do my best and you're you're getting frustrated because seven of wands it is like an aggravating frustrating energy of it's, it's almost like there's not enough time in the day to fix everyone else's problems and do my job at the same time like you're frustrated with how much is being asked of you right now hmm <laughs> All right, let's go uh, recent past for cancer, please. Let's see what's going on with this. Lovers. Oh, okay. Hi, cancer. Recent past for cancer, please. We'll get one more in a second. So lovers came out, um, card of Gemini. So we could be dealing or we're dealing with Gemini. King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, strong masculine, male or female, strong masculine. <gasps> chariot came out recent past your card i saw this in the pre-shuffle and it made me smile this is your card cancer or one of them there's a lot a lot a lot going on in the recent past a lot of quick forward movement like yep got the job gonna do that here we go yep got approved for the house uh gonna pack up my stuff here we go oh met a new person ask him on a date oh picking him up here we go it's like very, there's been a lot, like a huge um, lover's card. Yes, card of Gemini, but lover's is a divinely guided opportunity. Money, a job, a person, a friend, a romance, something. King of Wands, it was, it built your confidence, strong masculine. Someone, someone for a lot of you, a masculine, like maybe hit on you, prove themselves to you. Someone made a choice. 
I feel like with your energy here, Cancer, like you are looking the other way. Like, I love the lover's card. It is beautiful, but the counterpart is the devil. It is like the first thing that comes along. The, oh, I'll, I'll, I'll be with the first person after I broke up with someone. The first date, the first hookup. Uh, I'll just take the first job that comes along. I'll take the first thing. Like, it's not a bad thing, but it is with the king of wands. I feel like someone really pushed your buttons. Someone maybe forced you or pushed, pushed a boundary with you for some of you. Someone made an impulsive decision. And I feel like, because the energy is looking at the lovers, but you, Cancer, are the chariot. You're like moving forward. You're not trying to sidestep. You're not trying to, I'm hearing like cut corners. You're trying to move forward in your career, in your love life, with you, with whatever. You're trying to move forward in a very balanced, healthy way. And I feel like there's been a huge choice or an option, an event, even for some of you that was like, I can't believe that happened. Or that person really could have um, ruined something for you. There's like a, I'm, I'm getting almost like a little bit of, I don't want to say negative vibes from this masculine. They don't have to be a fire sign. But a, a king of wands is usually a more masculine energy that is very cocky, very like arrogant, sure of themselves. They can be very loyal and that kind of thing, but the spotlight is around them, okay? And cocky and arrogant with their actions, okay? Current energy for Cancer. Four of Swords, you're resting at peace. You're thinking something through about a person as you love cups. <laughs> Current energy, my loves, Four of Swords, resting praying, meditating, being at peace. We love that. Right in the heart of your reading, Cancer. I love this, the Two of Cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. This is like your best friend, someone you're in a, roman a romantic relationship with. That's my best friend. Uh, I'm a Pisces. He's a Scorpio. Y'all are Cancer. See, we're water friends. The Two of Cups for me is my Chino. Um, oh, and the Moon card. Pisces, Cancer energy, nighttime energy. Um, also the moon is like divine feminine, deep emotions. Okay. Six of swords, beautiful ace of wands, star card. Beautiful. Yeah. I do feel like you were tested in the recent past. Someone maybe pushed your buttons. We're going to, I can't wait to clarify who this a-hole is. I'm getting a little bit of an a-hole vibe. If you know what I mean? Like someone made a choice to like push your buttons even like try to like maybe like I'm getting comedy, make fun of you, something like that. And you're just like, whatever it was, you decided it was lower level or underneath you for some reason. You're looking for better, for more. You might not be knowing where you're going right now, but you know where you don't want to be. Like you got a taste of something in the recent past for a lot of y'all. You saw or were a part of an experience where you're like, that put a bad taste in my mouth. I don't want to be around that type of person. I don't want to be that type of person, yada, yada. Right now, your current energy is peace with you, peace with your friends, peace with if you're in a romantic relationship, whatever your two of cups is, your loves, your connections, your soul, your soul family, your ride or dies, okay? Um, we have the moon card. There could be a lot of deep hidden emotions in this situation. I love the six of swords. You are in the energy of moving on, moving forward. Even if you don't know where you're going, you're like, I'm not doing that. I'm not going to be associated. I mean, like, like, um, like who you're associated with even. You're like, I don't even want to be associated with that type of person over there. You're like, so I don't like that. I might not know what's going over here uh, on this path, but I'm going to go over here because I, I don't want to be associated with that. Got it. All right, what's in the near future for Cancer, please? What's coming in near future for Cancer? Thank you so much, Spirit, for these messages. <laughs> We've got a celebration coming up, Cancer, the Three of Cups. This is like congratulations, getting good news around something, Nine of Pentacles. Some of you could be like getting some money, um, a bonus, starting your own company, um, or getting some kind of finances going. You're like, yes, I'm going to go celebrate, call my, go my guys, my girls, my friends, my whoever's. Near future for cancer, please.
We have the Wheel of Fortune, Karma, kar Karma being completed, but the King of Swords, more masculine coming through. King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, male or female, strong, masculine. Again, we have the Nine of Swords, the Page of Cups, you, Three of Pentacles, Three of Wands, Page of Swords. There is, at the end of the day, a little bit of worry of, and stress. I feel like this King of Swords is, is, it's a decision that you'll be making, whether you're a male or female watching, I feel for a lot of you, you will be like making a decision. You've thought about something, you've experienced something and you're like, all right, it's delegation energy. You're like, I'm not sitting around anymore. I'm not doing this and this and this. I'm serious about that person, I'm serious about that job. I'm serious about this mindset I'm on. I'm serious about this health thing I'm on. I'm serious. It's like I'm serious, but in a good way. Because you've thought about it. You've meditated on it. Um, three of Cups, there will be a celebration about moving on and moving forward from something that you're thinking about. I feel like something a little bit unfortunate, something a little bit like someone pushed your buttons, pissed you off, tested you. Um, it might have been annoying or difficult or disruptive to go through or see or experience, but it almost happened for a reason with the Wheel of Fortune here um, because it might have kept you, if you would have like stayed in a relationship or stayed around a certain person or friend or stayed at a location or job, you might have stayed in this choice option energy and you're not a choice. You're not an option. So I do or for whatever this is for you. You've realized what means or you are realizing right now what means the most to you whatever that is, you might not know exactly where you're going, but whatever you've been through, it's like process of elimination. You're like, I know I don't want to do that, or I don't want to be around that, okay? You're going to have some type of like, yes, I feel good about making a decision to move on and move forward, and you're very serious. I do feel like you'll be making like more logical decisions moving forward, um, which Nine of Swords scares you a little bit because you're so free-flowing and nurturing and there so much for people. I feel like whatever this is, you're like, no, I'm doing it for me. I'm always there for you. I'm always doing this over here. I'm moving forward for me. Um, I feel with the Nine of Swords, Page of Cups too, at the bottom of the deck. It's almost like um, you don't wanna also, with your words, with the way you say stuff, like you don't wanna piss anyone off, rock the boat. Um, so see, even, even if you tell someone like, hey, I'm not interested or, or I didn't like that or have a little bit of conflict, like you're still so sweet. You're like, I, was I too mean? I hope I wasn't too mean. <laughs> you're fine. You're doing a great job. Something annoying or frustrating happened for a reason so that you could have, I'm hearing proof in the pudding to move forward. Um, even if you don't know where you're going, you're moving forward because you know where you don't want to be. I've already pre-shuffled and cut your clarification deck to save some time. We have the judgment card at the bottom of the deck. Nine of pentacles again, ace of pentacles, six of pentacles, queen of cups, strength card. This is a total investment in you. Um, this is like going for a dream, going for a goal, going for a person, a destination, um, but for you. And also being really, really strong to not let distractions keep you distracted. That's important. All right, let's go to um, the recent past and let's look at this lover's card, card of uh, Gemini again. But it's like, it's the first thing that comes along energy. Looks pretty, looks cute, looks shiny, looks hot, looks fun. But the counterpart to that is the devil. It's not gonna be long lasting, whatever the lover's is. came out there it is it's a little fumbly over here okay what's this lovers about for uh cancer please why is the lovers here in the recent past for cancer for cancer please you are home you are are you perfect no no one is your home, you're the safe zone, you're the safe place, safe space for friends, family, romantic, all the things. On your lover's card, you had the four of pentacles. You may not be a millionaire, billionaire, but you have solid homes, solid energy, solid money, solid boundaries. Queen of cups, 
you've learned to love yourself. You, you, a lot of you, this could also represent a relationship, someone you love, live with, roommate, that kind of thing. And four of wands, there's a commitment here. Um, King of pentacles, like king of swords, empress, like you are everything. Like you are the love. You are like the, like I see you as like your home or what you do for a living or just your energy in general. Like people come to you. Like, I feel like a lot of you could be like an entertainer or just the energy of like mama, mama, papa energy. Like all your friends lean on you. You're, they always come to your house or they're always calling you for advice, right? So this is about people, something coming to you. Hmm. What's up with this uh, King of Wands in the recent past? Why is the King of Wands here? Ace of Wands. Yep. Okay. Okay. I knew something happened with this King of Wands. So clarifying him, Ace of Wands, hot, passionate, new beginning, but Five of Cups. Some, this person, it could have like how, how they, they either said something to you, started something new, a new behavior with you. You were extremely emotional, emotionally disappointed in what they did or what they said. Eight of Wands, and this opened up a can of worms. Like Eight of Wands is communication, but like text messages, group texts, online social media, DMs, that kind of thing. And it put your walls up, death card, tower. Something happened either to y'all for a lot of you, who is this King of Wands to you? Two of Wands. It's someone that you are connected to, a friend, a coworker, um, could be a relationship, someone that you live with for some of you. We can't see their hands, so it is a little secretive. Something that they did, a wand, an action that they took towards you, Five of Cups made you sad, cry, I can't believe this. And then as you started to talk about it, oh my God, this happened, called a friend, whatever, reached out, nine of wands, death card. You're like, I'm done. I don't ever want to meet someone like that again. I hope this never happens to me again. Someone did a very, I'm hearing foul, foul action said probably with, it could it be, could be how someone said something to you, but with wands, it's going to be more of an action. What was the action? Queen of pentacles, six of wands all in reverse with the Wheel of Fortune. Someone didn't respect you. Someone didn't, like maybe someone violated like your home or did something um, to your, your your person, you, your home, or something that like means a lot to you. Someone someone betrayed your trust. I, I like, I wanna cry right now. Someone like knocked on the door and came and fucked around with you basically. Sorry, pardon, but. And you're like, ah, that put a bad taste in my mouth. My mouth. I'm out of here. Let's look at your chariot recent past. That's you. Also, the chariot is like the car um, in the tarot. It moves very fast, right? It's transportation. It's moving on, moving forward. You're like, I'm out of here. Peace out. Like you're like, I want nothing to do with that person or that experience. Something scared you chariot in the recent past why is the chariot here for cancer oh my god the magician came out the two of pentacles the king of wands came back out um with the queen of swords ten of swords you told this person no f off uh you communication wise um, might have blocked them, deleted them, or just not talking to them right now, or that was a recent past. Um, this was at some point a person or an experience that you thought you wanted, either a romantic experience you wanted to be a part of, a friend you wanted to be around, a group of people, something. What's it, can I see again, why, why with the King of Wands? Page of Cups, Nine of Wands, Ace of Cups. I feel like you feel betrayed that someone would hurt you that bad. Like someone took advantage of your kindness, your money, your love, the way that you're very like supportive. Like someone took advantage of that. And like you, you turn into a king of wands for a minute, not in a bad way, but like, okay, cool. 
two can play at this game and part of that for you means I'm just out. I'm not going to entertain, attach, um, or even resonate with somebody who would take advantage of someone like that. Even if it didn't happen to you, it's almost like if you witnessed one friend really treat another friend really poorly or disrespect them and you're like, man, I can't even talk to this person anymore because I can't believe how they would treat this person. Either it happened to you or it's something that y'all saw for a lot of you. And you're like, that's not right. I'm out of here. Now you're trying to rest, heal, be at peace with whatever's going on. Why the Four of Swords for Cancer? Page of Cups. You're trying to also not lose hope and faith in people for whatever this is. I felt a lot of people and all people came out on this one. So clarifying right now your Four of Swords. I just want to be at home. Peace, rest. Page of Cups. Maybe just being at peace with you and your kids, loved one, your dog, your cat. Um, whatever king of cups masculine also water pisces cancer scorpio with the page and the king of cups the emperor divine masculine card of aries father figure boss with judgment like you're looking out for you you're looking out for you you're you're staying in control of your emotions even though it's very difficult i feel like whatever this is you have a right to pop off get loud get crazy whatever right but you're like no i'm not gonna like I'm not gonna stoop to someone's level. I'm not gonna let someone get me riled up, whatever, because they did something bad or immature. You're like, I'm gonna keep my emotions under control. Not that you're not pissed, not that you're not upset. Of course you are. You saw some bullshit go down. Also the emperor is giving me like, for some of you, like if your father, father figure, grandfather, whether here or in spirit, would be like, man, my father would never approve of that. Oh my God, my dad would be pissed if they knew about how this person treated me. Like you're really looking back and contemplating right now, like all of your relationships, and your connections and which ones are more mature with the fours, more solid, more mature, more healthy, nothing's perfect. And which ones are unstable. What's your two of cups right now, Cancer? Thank you, Spirit. Why the two of cups for Cancer? Death card again with the nine of wands. Death card is Scorpio, our water friend. Nine of Wands, Five of Wands, Seven of Pentacles. Who's this other person to you? Temperance, Knight of Cups. Y'all do have at least for some of you like a romantic relationship person, a, a one or two like solid friends, someone who is there to like, I'm hearing fight for you, cut for you. I don't mean like, like physically, not nah, call the police. I mean like someone does is, someone understands you. Someone's like, hey, that is not fair, cancer. Yeah, that's messed up. It's good that you're getting away from those people. It's good that you're not a part of that anymore. It's good that you're getting out of that mindset. It's good that you don't associate yourself with those people. You do, it could be a Sagittarius specifically for some of you, but this person is like a healing energy for you as you are around or other people come to you for healing, nurturing, whether they know that or not, or you know that or not, you have someone in your corner for a lot of you who does that for you. Someone's like helping you let go of like a toxic mindset or to get away from a person or situation that's not good for you. Very good. Yay them. Why the moon for cancer, please? Why the moon? The moon again. Very good. On your moon card right now, again, you, Pisces, energy, seven of cups very emotionally maybe confused uh you could also with the double moon here on the chariot could be dealing specifically like cancer cancer pisces cancer pisces pisces or whatever doesn't have to be there's a lot of double water here and we have uh the queen of pentacles virgo taurus capricorn very beautiful energy there it's like again you might not know exactly where you're going emotionally right now but you know where you don't want to be okay and wherever it is that you are going, even if it's in the dark and I'm not sure and I'm emotional and that sucked, 
but I got to get out of here wherever, wherever it is that you are going. Queen of Pentacles, as long as you're respected, as long as you're in a new job, a new home, a new relationship, a new friend group, a new bleh, whatever, as long as you are the Queen of Pentacles, Cancer, as long as you show respect for yourself and are respected in your home, in your job, in your relationship, in your friendships, in your family, every single last part of it because you effing deserve it so bad. Okay, temperance. It will come in time. I'm also getting a little bit of now shifting into the future. If you build it, they will come or he will come. Kevin Costner, Field of Dreams. Oh my God, also the guy in that movie, what's his name? Famous actor, he passed away recently, rest in peace. He was also the voice in uh, for one of the lions in Lion King, oh my God. James Earl Jones, rest in peace. Amazing actor. And if you haven't seen Field of Dreams, do yourself a favor. Very spiritual movie. Okay. So now you maybe not know where you're going. At least you're not going to be around that jerk. At least you're not going to be associated with that crap back there. Right? As long as uh, wherever you're going, as long as you get respect. Three of Cups in the near future. Y'all know I'm like the biggest crybaby Pisces in the whole world. Oh my God. And a cancer rising. Too much water. Woo! Okay, three of cups. You have the Hierophant, card of Taurus. That is high level commitment. It's like your nine to five, your ride or die, your marriage, your person, your commitments. Like nothing is stopping you. Like you're like, yes, I feel good. I'm back to me. Um, you have the five of pentacles all the way to the gosh dang ten of pentacles. Like this is going from... Started from the bottom, now we here. Like starting with nothing, now you have everything. Or feeling like everything was falling apart to now all of a sudden having everything come together. The relationship, the home, the money, the everything, where you, what you thought you didn't have, now you do. This is like zero and this is like a hundred. Whoa! <laughs> because why Hierophant? Because you didn't give up on who you are, your commitments, whether that be your job, a marriage, a mindset, your leadership abilities, whatever. Like you're celebrating the fact that you didn't give up. You didn't let some a-hole, some, some detour try to um, take you down permanently. It might have hurt, it might have stung, but it also made you stronger, right? I don't love that saying, it didn't kill you, made you stronger, but it's a little bit of that story here today as well. What's the wheel of fortune for cancer in your future? <laughs> okay, well, would you look at that? Would you just look at it? Look at that. If you know what I'm talking about, you know. Would you just look at it? <laughs> it's a ridiculous skit. We have the Knight of Swords, the Tower, and the Justice card. Look at that. And this card, this is communication. Someone's got someone, something to say, and we see the tower exploding. There's going to be an explosive, game-changer, transformative communication, and it will cause the breaking down of something, of a foundation, okay? A relationship, a job, a home, whatever. It will happen in Libra season. We are in Libra season. This is Libra's card. And with the Wheel of Fortune, this is double karma. Three of Swords, King of Swords. I'm getting like enough is enough. Like, this is you, though. Why? What's the message coming through? What's this Knight of Swords? Judgment, Seven of Swords, Ten of Cups. Someone might have had some hidden feelings about you, and they finally come forward. And or you could have hidden feelings towards someone, and you finally come forward. Why would this be a tower? Four of Swords, because you don't see it coming. And why Justice, please? Ten of Wands, Page of Swords, King of Swords. This is like... Whatever the communication is, it's going to change. I do feel like this is you. I feel like this is you telling like everyone that you're around, like I didn't give up on myself. I've been through hellfire and back. I went through this. I went through that. This situation happened. It was hard. 
I, I, rem I remained as strong as I could to get through it. And now things will fall into your favor because you're choosing yourself. So I feel like the fall will be on other people who shortchanged you is what I'm getting. King of Swords. Two of Swords, Eight of Pentacles, Knight of Cups, Strength card, Nine of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. A little bit of Leo energy here. You are tough. You are strong. I know that's like, okay, I'm tough, but I'm tired of it. I get it. You're going to start seeing the fruits of your labor. When you put more energy into yourself and not others, um, you get more out of it. A lot of you are like, yep, that's it. I'm busy. I'm not... Like you're leaving everyone on red, basically. We started the reading with seven of wands. Like I'm trying to do my thing, my job, my whatever. And you have all these people leaning on you. And you also had probably something happen and people are still leaning on you, okay? You're not giving up on what you believe in, what you do, who you are, who you love. And as you continue to choose yourself and get away from negative, lower vibrational people or situations or whatever did happen, you change the karmic structure, you change a timeline and you jump into a higher timeline. It's not that you're saying no, not talking to anybody, but you're putting yourself first. Like, yeah, I can come to that party or yeah, I can do whatever, whatever, but I'll show up when I show up. I'm not gonna be there and help you prep and do everything and clean up and help you cry about everything and da 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 da, -da and for me to get nothing out of it. I'll show up when I, when I show up I'll put on my happy face. I'll be there. Excellent. I'll bring my little, you know, gift for you and I'm going to move on. Like you're being very, very diligent about putting yourself first. Eight of Pentacles, Knight of Cups, your job, your money, your relationships, whatever that means a lot to you. And Two of Swords here is like some people might reach out, text you and you're like, I can't help everyone. You cannot save everyone, right? This is almost like you lost a little bit and you almost lost yourself. And so we cannot lose you. We can't lose cancer. So as you continue to delegate and choose yourself, not easy, strength card, not easy. Little sweet little giving babies that y'all are. <laughs> and a small group of you, not a small group, but another group of you, there is someone else. Who's this eight of pentacles real quick? We'll find out in the love reading. Nine of cups. It is someone that makes you very happy. There is someone, a side note, more on like a romantic side. I do feel like there is a decision of a masculine for a lot of you that does want to put in the work towards taking a romantic connection or a friendship to the next level. So um, I love y'all so much. Let's do your pick a card real quick. And then those of you that want to join us for the love reading, that's the first link in the description box below. And the cancer that won the pick a card this time is Joanna Ramos. Joanna, you are my winner. So Cancer, if you want me to pick your card next time, make sure you are subscribed to this channel. Leave your name somewhere in the comment section down below. Next time it could be you. I love y'all so much. Thank you always for everything. I will see y'all in the love reading or next time. Joanna, how are you, my love? Thank you so much for being a subscriber. I super appreciate you. For Joanna today. Thank you, Spirit, for these messages. Seven of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. You're waiting for something. Ten of Cups, Temperance. You've, you're waiting some kind of on some communication for something to come together, probably around a person. You're waiting. You're waiting to hear from somebody. So maybe waiting to hear back if they love you, if someone's coming to visit. You've planted some seeds in a connection with somebody. And now you're just playing the waiting game to see where it's going to go or if they're going to respond or react to the seeds that you've planted. Eight of Swords came out with a Six of Cups. You also might be thinking about like having children or children could be on your mind a lot. Joanna.
interesting. Nine of Wands, Ace of Wands, Eight of Pentacles, Seven of Cups, Five of Wands, Four of Cups. Interesting. You're really thinking a lot. Eight of Swords is a little bit of overthinking, a little paranoia, kind of stress vibes about Six of Cups. Like maybe, for example, if you've never like had a child and you're like, oh my God, maybe I want to have a kid now. Like Nine of Wands, maybe you've tried before or maybe it's something that's never worked out or you've never really wanted before, for example. But now Ace of Wands, it's not the 10, it's the 9. Maybe you've been unsuccessful, not found a right partner. Maybe you've had, you know, some unfortunate situations around family or children or whatever this is from the past. And you're just like, I don't know. I don't know if it's for me. I kind of want to give up vibe. But then boom, Ace of Wands, there's a new, something that is, isn't inspiring you to maybe, again, maybe want to have kids again or try to have a kid again or whatever the Six of Cups is. Maybe it's also about like a hometown or a past personal relationship. We'll find out in the clarifiers more what that is. But whatever the new inspiration that comes in, it, you're all over it. Eight of Pentacles. You're like, okay, I'm going to work hard. If it is about for example, like, okay, I want to maybe have a kid now. Eight of Pentacles for a woman, it's about getting your body ready more than anything, right? Um, you know, no drinking, smoking, all those things, like, ideally, you know, um, or whatever this is, whatever that you're inspired by. I, I'm, I'm almost feeling like it's one last hope, one more time, or, or I could try whatever this is this way. Um, even if it's like, okay, I do want to move back to my hometown, or I do want to reconnect with that six of cups that old friend or that relationship you've been very like turned off by it but there's something that's sparking you now and you will work towards seven of cups feeling it out and seeking it out so there's something from the past that's really calling at you you've had some maybe issues problems challenges attaining that or grasping that if you will but something's giving you new hope and you're going to put a lot of effort into it Thank you, Spirit, for these messages. We'll take two on each. Why the Eight of Swords for Joanna? This is something that you've like, no, I won't, I won't. Ten of Swords, Queen of Pentacles. For example, like if you're like, yeah, I'd rather have a career over having children. I'd rather like Queen of Pentacles. You're like, no, I don't have time to have children or to, have, to be a mother. I work full time. I work two jobs or whatever. Like you've given up on something that you've wanted or, or, or you've thought about this and you're like, I don't have time or I'm just not going to do it. But at the same time, I am getting around kids because they're showing me the rabbit. But like the more that you actually think about it, you're like, well, I kind of would be a good mom. Six of Cups, High Priestess. It is on your mind. I don't think you're talking to a lot of people about it. What's this Six of Cups for Joanna, please? Two of the, yeah, you're kind of Two of Swords, King of Pentacles, Moon card. You're thinking about doing this by yourself. Like you have the money, the time, um, that kind of thing. And you're like, no one has to know my plans. That's right, they don't. Actually, the more, anyone else who's watching, the more that you don't say your amazing plans, um, there's a higher chance of you attaining your plans because not other people can ruin it with their negative intentions. Just a little manifestation 101. Okay. Nine of Wands for Joanna. Yeah, you've been really, you've dealt with this before. Knight of Swords, Three of Swords, Seven of Pentacles. You've had, you've, you've had, um, fail. I don't like the word failure. I'm hearing the word unsuccess. You've been unsuccessful at whatever this is, either trying to move back home, trying to reconnect with an old person. I really feel like this is about children, a child, or wanting to have a child. What's the ace of wands? What's this new hope for you? Ten, uh, five of swords, death card, six of wands. I do feel like, um, Like you're a part of this for a lot of you or for a lot of you, a part of this for you is you're not going to listen to what other people say anymore. Like some people might have been like, no, you don't want to do that. No, you don't want to have a kid. No. Um, or no, you don't, you know, don't date that person. And you're like, why am I even listening to any of these people? 
none of these people have what I want anyways. It's like you've almost realized you might also have been around like um, not the best environment of people. Why the eight of pentacles for Joanna? What are you going to be working hard on? Yeah, temperance. Oh my God, four of pentacles, two of cups. You're all over it, babe. Eight of cups, page of cups. You're going to do it. Devil. You're going to do it. I really feel like you're going to explore like trying to have a kid by yourself um, or connect with someone that you've trying to reconnect with from like a like an old love from a long time ago. Um, it will take some time. Um, the biggest thing for you is working on your boundaries. Temperance, four of pentacles, making sure your boundaries are healthy and solid. Two of cups, um, especially if you are bringing a child child in or adopting or adding on to the family. Two of cups. Um, you are making space for a new person in your life. Congratulations. Like you're determined. You found a way to do this and it's it, and it's by you're inspired by like really really going against the grain and doing something like not by the book. Get it, girl. All right, if there's anyone else still here, I love y'all so much. I will see y'all in the love reading or next time. Bye.